nature, why do we want ideals at all? Well, you see, somebody. I mean, I'm, I, I'm faced with what is only. Yes. There is war. I'm faced with that. Why should I have an ideal about it? I'm faced with uh, the conflict in relationship between two human beings. That is what is. Why should I have an, a, any ideal about it? If it's only ideas come into being when I do not know how to deal with these bodies. Mm -hmm. But if I know what to do with the bodies, if there is a comprehension of mm, understanding what is, ideas become utterly meaningless. Whether the ideal out there or in here. Because ideal implies, doesn't it, sir, going towards the end, go, reaching a certain level of perfection, a certain level of uh, fulfilment, and so on. And uh, therefore, there is always this idea of becoming, never being with what is. Perhaps, perhaps we could um, think of the word ideal simply in terms of referring to going well rather than ill. Not in the sense of trying to become well, as a sick man would desire health, but rather that the healthy man is embodying that health. As healthy. a finite being, he must change. A healthy man doesn't know he's healthy. He's only the sick man that knows he's sick. Yes, I, I, I really think I'm beginning to, to understand your distinction. Uh, much of the difficulty with, with language about this perhaps arises because of the distinction we make between being and knowing. Yes, 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 yes. Now can we just go into that little bit too? Mm. That is, knowing and being in the sense, being with what is. What is knowing? I say I know you. Do I know you? I only know you since I met you day before yesterday. And in the meantime, you might have changed completely. But I have the image of you established in my mind. According to that image, I say I know you. If I have no image of you, then I'm always seeing you anew, fresh. Yes, yes, yes. So we know each other from Monday. From We're Monday. seeing See each, each other, other now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does one keep the seeing with him from the time when he saw before? So or is it, does it become knowledge? Knowledge, when we talk about knowledge, is also the formation of images, isn't it? We represent knowledge to ourselves yes. through image, yes. And that image becomes extraordinarily important in relationship. I've lived with you, say, 110 days or a month or whatever it is, and I, from that I gather, I build up a whole series of images. And then I say, I know you, which is 
I know you according to my image, and you know me according to your image of me. So our relationship is actually between these two images. The image is being the past, the image is being the knowledge of each other. You have, you have talked to me harshly, friendly, all the rest of it, and that it builds an image, and I keep that image. The mind holds to that image. Can, can the mind meet and yet let, not let the images interfere? And then the student looks at you and says, how do I start? <laughs> uh, do, do you think that um, a person hearing that correctly is by the very act of hearing it correctly That's right, sir. already doing it? Yes. That's right. That's why seeing and hearing is so important. If I really hear you make that statement, really hear you, and without any <laughs> sense of twisting it, without any sense of direction, I listen completely to say, look, love is not pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I listen to and in the very act of listening, I see the truth of it. And that perception does something instantly, that hearing. But uh, when you say, mm, love is pleasure, or love is not pleasure, and I pay casual attention to it, it means nothing. But if I give my heart, my mind, my whole being to that act of listening, what you say, I mean, then there is no division between the verbal statement and the fact. Do you think this is what little children do when, when they attend as they seem to, with such intensity. The span of attention, of course, isn't very long. No, no. But when they do attend, they, they seem to bring forward the sort of intensity that we see in the animal. Is that... In that case, with children, I bought a few children, they attend completely, absorbed by something by a toy. Mm -hmm. Complete. The toy absorbs them. Mm -hmm. And then when the toy uh, fed up with the toy or break it up, their, attend, their absorption goes off. The toy is the instrument of their absorption. It isn't they are absorbed. I don't know.